Well, greetings from Bishop Fenwick. Welcome back to the vlog, and of course, Happy New Year to everyone. So our seniors have been reading Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning, where Frankl asserts that while we may not have choices about what happens to us in life, we always have choices about how we respond to what happens to us in life. And I've been thinking and praying about how we respond to the challenges of the day. Last week when I was doing some research for our New Year's message, I discovered that December 31st marked the 75th anniversary of the founding of the UN. In the immediate aftermath of World War II, the country came together and the world came together to abide by a code of conduct, essential values and principles that I share with you in the text of this message today. In light of how we respond, we came together as a faculty and staff yesterday for a professional day. And in listening to our teachers, I had an epiphany. It's pretty good, right? Because we just celebrated the epiphany. But I had an epiphany because I recognized once again, I saw once again, how amazing they are. That's why I'm here in the classroom that's shared by Ms. McDermott and Mrs. Nagel. What great representations of education here at Fenwick these teachers are. A first year teacher and a, well, I'll just say a veteran teacher. Both of whom have an insatiable desire to learn new technologies and to develop better ways of teaching and learning for their students. And Ms. McDermott was talking about this amazing graphic calculator app yesterday, and I thought, it's extraordinary what our teachers do. And I'm here in a classroom where you see the mic for the Zoom meetings, the camera's right back here, and of course when students are here, all the wipes and the hand sanitizer, think of all the things they have to do. And I want you to imagine that you have to coordinate a workshop, or you have to lead a webinar, or you have to run a meeting. And what are all the components of that? And I'm going to suggest to you that there are four components of that that teachers have to do for every class multiple times a day. First, the logistics, trying to get the links and the emails, trying to manage everything from attendance to registration. Second, the content. You've got to come up with the presentations and the PowerPoints and the plans. You've got to do all the technologies as well as produce all the handouts and the materials. Third, the facilitation. You actually have to coordinate that. You have to manage engagement and foster participation. You're the one that has to figure out, are they gonna work in pairs or in small groups? You have to coordinate all those voices. And fourthly, the evaluation. How are you gonna know whether or not it worked? What kinds of assessments and assignments will you use? You're the one who's gonna to have to like do the surveys or to measure the progress. You're the one that's gonna to have to figure out, again, was it effective? If you run a workshop or lead a conference, you have different people assigned to each of those four areas. The person who does logistics doesn't facilitate the meeting. The person who produces all the content doesn't oversee all the evaluation. But that's what our teachers do multiple times a day. Wow. So impressive. So impressive. So this week, let's be especially grateful for the educators in our midst who make Fenwick what it is. Have a great week and take care.